All right, you guys. Well, we are back in Card Shop Simulator. It's been a couple of days, a couple of levels. I've done a little bit of expanding, kind of bought some different types of inventory. And yeah, I uh, figured I'd bring you guys back for this episode. We'll start it off by uh, expanding that and then unlocking some more cards. So let's start with the... A final expansion six thousand dollars there's the achievement and yeah now our shop is maxed out now we do still have a lot in shop b to get we've got four more to get but those are all level locked so we're gonna hold off on that in the meantime we are gonna come down here and unlock uh where is it these ones yeah, I think we do that. Go ahead and get that going. Buy like four packs of those. Go ahead and get this stocked up. Okay. Got everything shifted down by one. I'm going to have some empty shelves for now. It's probably not the best idea. I mean, yeah, we're going to have some empty shelves for now, but that's okay. Go ahead and grab this. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and run this for a couple more days. Oh, by the way, I do have... Uh, let me see if I can pull it up. Three or four people. One, two, three, four people working for me right now. I just put uh, Clark Cash and Lauren Posey on the cash registers. And then the other two just stock shelves while I sit here and open packs all day. So, yeah, it's, it's a fairly decent system I have set up. Probably going to unlock some more of these figurines. We're kind of limited on how much we actually have left to unlock. Like, figurines are kind of about it. Still waiting for, well, I guess figurines and then the play mats. There's a lot of play mats. So that might help fill the shop a little bit. Um, still waiting on the next comic book. These things actually sell pretty decent. And then obviously we're still waiting on like these as well. So I might go ahead and buy these in between episodes or in between uh, days. Probably go ahead and buy these as well. I mean, why not? Yeah, I don't want to wait the eight levels till I unlock this. So I'll, I'll go ahead and get these. But yeah, uh, it's kind of where we're at right now. So a lot more grinding to do. Um, do have a few more ghost cards. Let me see if I can push the right button and open it up. No duplicates. I'll show you the duplicates here in a minute. Uh, sort by price. Why not? So we've got a decent amount. Almost three pages. So that's not too bad. I've been putting all the duplicates in here, which we've only gotten three so far. So there's that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and run this. So I'll get these shelves filled up a little bit more and bring you guys back once we get close to getting something else. I don't know how close we are to the 5,000 people played in the shop yet. Which is um, do 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 right here, the card shop. Once we hit the five thousand customers played in the shop, then we can go ahead and get rid of those desks. That'll give us more room for, I don't know, other stuff. I guess shop level fifty is probably going to be our next achievement if I don't decide to go ahead and just knock out the higher eight workers, which I probably will do in this episode. This episode is probably going to take two or three days of playing to record because I'm kind of limited on time to play. I'll keep opening packs and maybe we'll get the uh, foil ghost card. It, I doubt it until we at least get the Destiny legendary pack unlocked, but hopefully we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and run this and I'll see you guys back here in a few days. Okay, you guys. Well, it's been four days in-game, like two in real life, one, two, 
too, I think. I don't know. It, it's been a little bit. But we just hit shop level 50. So with shop level 50 comes new stuff we can buy. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Oh, and it, I think it also unlocked this one. But we're going to go ahead and buy these ones. So there's that. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Okay. So it's been two days. So we need to get 5,000 customers to play in the shop. We need to hire eight workers, which I don't know if we actually have the funds to do just yet. Sell a $10,000 card, which I don't think we have anything that's close to that. I'll check here in a minute. Um, shop level 100 and collecting 2,500 cards. Okay. Well, let's take a look at our deck. Uh, price. There we go. Okay, so we've only got a couple, like, might be able to get away with selling them for, like, five grand, but we're going to need to do better than that. That's the wrong button still. These guys keep sneaking by, and I don't know why. Pretty sure it's just... Okay, what's going on here? Oh, it's not on. I was playing around, like, I bought the bigger one, and it just, I wasn't a big fan of it. So, like, it holds three more of these canisters, and it does work, but the, I feel like the recharge, like, before it can spray again, was quite a bit lower, or slower, I should say. Mm, it might be about the same speed, but I think I might have to get another one. It'll be nice once we get the 5,000 customers that play in the shop done so that I can kind of rearrange everything. Maybe just put a few desks over here or a few tables over here and then move the cash register over here. Maybe rearrange the way the shop is laid out, but yeah, I don't know. And see when that happens, two of them come through at the same time. Only one of them gets sprayed. So I, I need to, uh, oh, came right to me. You get sprayed in the face. Nice. Um, yeah, I, I need to get another one to put somewhere, but then the question is, where do I put the other cash register? I mean, I guess technically I could put it over here and just move that over there. That way I've got room to put another one of those right there. Okay, where'd she go now? Okay, she's going back to work. Now we can buy another one of these for the sake of saving space. I think we put it right here. But then we still might run into the issue of if two come through and both of these go off. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to keep an eye on it. The only reason I bought these card sleeves is I had a bunch of uh, customers complaining that I didn't have them. So I figured I may as well do it. But all I had to do was add another shelf in here. It wasn't too big of a deal. Uh, we're almost out of cards. That's fine. Are people even using this register? Yeah. Okay. That'll work. I mean, it's a little tight getting through here, but it'll be just fine for now. Yeah. Um, Let's take a look and see about these other ones. So that's going to be $10,000. 5000 So we need like $16,500 to hire these guys okay i'll bring you guys back at the end of the day and we'll see if we got the money to do that okay you guys the shop has officially closed for the night uh, i got a bunch of restocking to do but i'm not too concerned about that let's go ahead and get the recruits we do have the money for it now there we go there's another one good old top recruiter um, what's the next one? $5,000 card we could probably do. Customers played in the shop. Mm, 30000 profit. $10,000 card, shop 100 I mean, a lot of this is just going to be time. Card connoisseur. I mean, that one we can kind of start on. I mean, we do have like $4,000 left still. Let's see here. So I think majority of our cards 
that we have left to collect are going to come from these ones. Like the Destiny packs. Because I've opened a fair amount of these ones and these ones, but I haven't even touched these ones or these ones yet. So maybe we buy like, I don't know, four of each. And then we just start opening packs. Okay. Opened eight boxes. Um, yep. As expected, we got a lot of new cards, but not so much value. Our most valuable duplicate, 771. Oh, I did get a new ghost card off camera. Let me see if I can find it. This one. Oh, it's pretty cool. I like the artwork on it. All right. Well, I need to sit down and figure out where we're missing cards and where we aren't. So give me like five to ten minutes. I'll be right back. All right, you guys. Well, I have done the math. It really didn't take five to ten minutes. Um, Yeah, did the math. We need 541 cards somewhere. So yeah, I think it's just going to come down to uh, just opening packs. A lot of packs. So let me just uh, sit here and open packs for quite a while. I'll bring you guys back if I uh, find anything good. Holy cow, you guys. I actually did it. It is currently like 3.15 in the morning for me. And I've just been sitting here grinding hard packs. Trying to get the 2500 collected. And, uh, yeah, I just pulled a hollow ghost card worth 11,000, almost 11,000. I'll give myself the credit. It's 11,000. So that should pop the achievement. There it is. Go ahead and stop this real quick. Wow. There it is. And still going back to the 2500. We are currently sitting at about 159 short of 2500. Well, 158 at least now. Plus probably a couple I've already opened. I don't know. This round of pack openings, I've already gone through about 170 cards give or take or 170 packs give or take so um yeah that was a massive find and if nothing else then that oil we can sell that one and at least get this one knocked out too now the 30,000 profit in a day because i am using the mod um this bulk selling oh that bill or the bill amount adjuster is for uh the girlfriend because she doesn't like paying high electricity bills so but um yeah this bulk selling mod right here i'm selling everything under 200 dollars in value and it doesn't really benefit me at all other than cuts out the middleman of actually having to put it on the display to have it sell and it just helps me better keep track of all the uh card numbers over here the collection numbers because i can actually sell them so i'm not having to count all the duplicates because this number includes duplicates so this actually helps quite a bit just being able to sell most of them so it's just less i have to count and subtract it from 2500 and well add it to 2500 then subtract these numbers from it and yeah it, it's a whole process but yeah, I just thought I'd bring you guys back when I pulled that. And uh, I guess we keep going because we need to get to 2,500. Okay, you guys, I don't know what the opposite of when it rains, it pours is, but uh, 
this would be it. This one's worth about $6,000 more than the last one. And we're still grinding packs. So, yeah, I, I don't know where this is going to go from here, but it's looking good. Okay, so it's been about 20,000 packs since we pulled our last full art foil ghost card. I'm going to end this episode here. We're about 51 short. We have $241,000. We have a lot of duplicates. These are all super expensive cards. These are all the duplicate ghost cards we have. Yeah. Um, let's just kind of go over the achievements. Let's see here. We... Got the full shop expansion. The Destiny Epic Packs were unlocked. We hit level 50. We unlocked the Destiny Legendary Pack. We hired eight workers, and we are the proud owners of the Lucky Bastard achievement. So I'm going to leave this off here. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep opening packs off camera, but I'm going to try to get the last card that we need for the 2500 on camera so we can kind of start the the next episode with that but yeah we we've got a few left to do probably not too difficult besides maybe uh grinding to shop level 100 so if you guys liked it go ahead leave a like subscribe if you guys haven't yet and i will catch you guys in the next one